Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. We all remember the breaking news in November 2017 when the Scan Pyramids project announced the discovery of a big void in the Great Pyramid of Egypt, located above the Grand Gallery and being either straight or inclined. The news permeated the international media and I think that everyone with an interest in ancient Egypt was excited. It was the second major cavity located inside the pyramid using something called cosmic muon science. Basically, super fast cosmic particles collide with air molecules and produce a range of daughter particles including muons. They move close to the speed of light and they only weakly interact with matter meaning they can deeply penetrate rocks. Some particles get absorbed and some deflected by the atoms in the rock's minerals, and muon detectors can help us paint a picture of density anomalies. It can basically be used to find voids in dense structures like pyramids. Not long after the announcement of the big void, pictures of a new robotic blimp were released, and this could be used to explore the void using an endoscopic camera. But now, nearly five years later, nothing has materialised. We still don't know what the voids are or what's inside. Some people believe the big void is Khufu's antechambers, some think it's merely constructional, some think it's a burial chamber with an iron throne, but some Egyptologists such as Dr David Lightbody are even convinced there are no voids at all, and say there is actually an alternative explanation. Lightbody believes the voids are merely artefacts of the scans, picking up small cavities around the masonry of the Grand Gallery. In all honesty, it is a fair interpretation of the data, and so before any exploratory work can be done, the pyramid does need to be rescanned with better, finer technology. And that's exactly what is planned. A new team of scientists plan to scan the Great Pyramid in what is called the Exploring the Great Pyramid mission. They plan to field a very large muon telescope system that will be transformational with respect to the field of cosmic ray muon imaging. The system will be a hundred times more sensitive than the equipment that was used between 2015 and 2017. It will image muons from nearly all angles, and will, for the first time, produce a true tomographic image of the large structure. The team of scientists from the United States have written and released a 15-page preprint paper which I've linked below. The telescope contraptions are too large to get inside the Great Pyramid, so the plan is to put them outside and then move them along the base, collecting muons from all angles, and this will build a robust dataset. From this we'll get high resolution images of the internal passages, chambers and any cavities inside the pyramid, and we will have a complete picture of what exactly is inside the structure. But is this actually going to happen? Well, the team already has approval from the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, that's the first hurdle, but now they need the required funds to build the equipment. The team are actively looking for sponsors for the full project. Once funding is secured it will take two years to build. Then, data will be collected over the course of a year and early results can be released. So far, prototypes have been designed, and the team have done successful simulations, so depending on the funding, we have at least three to five years until we have the answers we want. Then and only then can any cavities be explored. The new work will either prove the scan pyramids or David Lightbody correct, and so it is very important work, especially as there are two possible interpretations for the results from 2017. So, if you're rich and you're watching this, the names of the scientists and the universities are on the paper that I've linked below. So, go on, get in touch and help solve the mystery of the Great Pyramid once and for all. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.